What's up everybody? Welcome to your fit tutorial. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to resize images. We got this little bear thing that I found that would get this done quickly. So we got we'll start with the blank page. And of course if you remember your file has to be like bear one has to be the same by your index. Like you're just adding an image, and I'm going to show you how to resize it. So let's take it. We'll have the image, and then we'll have it's bare one. Dot JPEG. Oops. And then who's texting? Uh, I'll worry about that later. Actually, I get distracted really easy because it'll keep going. Also, hold on. Just hold that thought. Find your image or something real quick. Yeah. Dumb people, I swear. Anyway, so you get your image and then you close it. And you, when you save this, you know, and you open it up. You have your picture. Well, sometimes pictures will be bigger, or if it's bigger pictures that you have that you want to put on your website, they could be just like all down this like all around it and it could make it where you had to scroll and everything well, I'm gonna show you how to fix it it's another it's inside the image source you take height equals parentheses and then we'll just put 150 and what that 150 is is it's pixels it's 150 pixels it's it'll just make it where it's bigger or smaller which in this case we'll just put it smaller so it's 150 pixels and then we'll save that and you can see it, the change here now you go from here and it goes down to there and this makes it smaller and smaller so it's the 150 pixels that change it you can put 400 pixels or whatever and each time it just changes it higher, smaller it's all about the size of the pickles or pickles, geez pixels where if you have height and then you have your pixels right here so you got pixels not pickles and it goes in and la what a lot of people think if you have like a huge image like let's say 800 and you take it and you bring that up they think it's going to take longer to load your web page no that's not the thing it's still going to load the regular size of the image will still load the regular size but what it's doing is the computer's thinking alright they want it 150 pixels so we'll load it and right before it comes up we'll resize that image so it's still gonna load the exact like it's not gonna show the exact size but it's gonna load the exact size it's just gonna change the pixels it's very simple there's nothing to it at all it's very easy tag it's just right in size here resize the image if you have a terrible huge image that you have to scroll you can put small pixels or if it's really small pixels like if you have like 25 pixels or 24 or 25 and you refresh this it's gonna be pretty small you can't see it and then you're like well what's that so if you go to you got 25 pixels you know it's small and then you put let's say a thousand and then you're gonna be like well this is gonna be a lot bigger well you're right it is and it even scrolls so you don't want it that big and plus it's you want it kind of where you can see it not all blurry and stuff so let's put it back to the 150 I mean resize the image any way you want and get later on I'll go ahead and talk to you now centering an image because I'm really OCD about that stuff I liked everything centered all you have to do is write f f before the source code or the image source you just type in center you have your center tag here and then you have your center tag here and you do that if you put a center tag if you like all right I'll say this for example so we got this and it goes to the center but if you have this is why you have to have a closing tag so let's say you have let's just put a break Oops. and then you have just h1 or h2 don't matter this is going to be centered and so then you have G 
Jeez, I can't type today. So then you have you close your center here, and so, or even if you don't close it, then if you don't even close it, then watch, look what happens. It's all just going to be centered. I mean, it whoops, it'll never. It's not going to work. So you have to make sure you have your centered here. You close that. So when it goes, then it's centered here, but it's not here. You just got to watch your tags, watch your closing. If there's any errors, just go over it. You'll get, just get used to it. The main part I was getting to today was how to resize the image, but that is centering an image, and that kind of just teaches you how to center a lot of the things. But this is tutorial five. Thanks for watching.